When it comes to my balancing sculptures, I get asked a lot about how I actually make them balance, and it really comes down to trial and error, but there is a very important concept I'd like to explain. I don't want to get too deep in the weeds here, so let's just consider this image. The image on the left is easier to move than the image on the right because of how far away that weight is. This is the moment arm, simply the distance away from which that weight is being moved. So now here we are with the real world example of my sculpture and I'm about to make it balance. So this is the point right here, this rod is where the weight pivots. And from that pivot point all the way down to the bottom of this guy, that is the length of the arm. And then we have this counterweight here that will go above the little swinging kid. Granted, this weight is a lot heavier. Therefore, the arm needs to be shorter because that weight will have a much greater effect with a shorter arm. This being a lighter object, the swinging kid, has a greater arm length and therefore will have an equal force to this heavier weight. Now I'm going to give this a few taps with the hammer so I can fine tune the balance of these two objects. By tapping it down, I'm shortening the arm of the heavy counterweight. Now giving it a quick test here, we can see that mm, something's a little off. Its neutral point is kind of out. There's also one other thing that I do that helps with this whole balancing process. See how the rod is not dead center? That is to counteract the fact that this guy's head is behind the center of pivot. So I have to drill that hole off center to counteract his head. I can twist this counterweight until it perfectly counters his head and then he will sit straight up and down. See now his neutral point is almost perfectly straight up and down. However, he swings very, very slowly, which actually is a good thing. However, if I wanted to increase his speed, I would just have to shorten the arm of that weight. If I bring that weight down, that will make him a heavier influence. All right, so let me just give this a couple more taps to shorten the arm length of that counterweight. And now let's check this little guy's swinging speed or his cadence. Should be faster, albeit subtle. And what do you know, by shortening that arm, he took over more influence and now I changed the speed. This is how I have to fine tune and balance every single one of my sculptures.